That keeps you trapped in samsara. That keeps you a slave. And you've been a slave for thousands of years. And now that we have this form of communication, that we can reach out to each other, and there is information flow and availability, then you have no excuse to remain a robot. It's your responsibility that if you come across this information, to take advantage of it, to free yourself from the bondage you've been in for all of your life. Forget about past lives or future, this life. Examine yourself. Take a look at yourself, please. Just see how you react through the news. And tell me how aware you are of your emotions. The moment you get some kind of unpleasant news, whether whatever that is, your child got in an accident, something's happened, or they're sick, or you get news about the world, or whatever is event happening in the world, just observe yourself. That's what I that's what awareness is. Just observe yourself of how you're reacting to it and your ups and downs. Look at yourself and see how you are centered your happiness based on the news you get, based on what is happening in your, in your utter world. And when something's not going your way, you're thrown off completely balance. I hear from a lot of you coming to me, oh, I'm really worried about my kids. I'm really worried about the business. I'm really worried what's going to happen in the future. Well, you're not worried when things go your way. So how come you don't say that to me then? And how come you don't come to me when everything's going right in your life? Why do you come to me when things aren't going well in your life? Because awareness is not there. So you haven't learned the very fundamental things that your emotions, your thoughts could very easily be influenced by some news, whether it's true or not. You don't know if something really happened in another country or not, or another land or whatever, or what is going on in the atmosphere or in our oceans. You get some news. What if the news is not accurate? What if it's fake? What if they made a mistake? What if the research wasn't right? But your emotions are ups and downs and you're thrown off of your center. So you're influenced easily by these things. You haven't discovered how to stay in your center, detached from what kind of news you, you're receiving, what kind of thoughts comes into your mind, what kind of emotions you're experiencing. Because you want to be efficient, because, you want to, because you've been trained to be a robot, producing, production. And in that, you lose your soul, you lose your spirituality. You lose what's really essential and it's the very fabric of your being. Forgetting about the heart of awareness.
But you can't get away from that if you come to me, because I'm not compromising my teachings and what I share with you and the work for being efficient or financially successful or whatever. There's no compromise here. We're focused on one thing, the highest prize that ever any human being in this life can arrive to. And that's self-realization. That's freedom. Total freedom. Anybody has any questions for me? One other thing before we get into, excuse me, I'm just getting really hot here. Just one moment. I need, it was cold. Now it's hot. And I don't have air conditioning in my, in my studio. So the, more you expand your awareness, the more you're becoming self-aware and awakened. So different parts of you, the sleepy part starts to wake up. The robotic parts begin to wake up. The more you begin to... The, the quality of your life begins to change. And this is something like... It's almost impossible to explain it to somebody who hasn't been touched and hasn't been exposed to the presence, to God, to discover their spirituality. It can't really be explained because they've never been touched. But the more that happens in your life, the quality of your life changes. You may be doing the same thing you were doing. Your finances may remain the same. You're living in the same house or whatever. But something has changed. A sense of gratefulness has taken over. An attunement with your heart has taken place. You are now following your heart and what what is right for you than just saying yes to whatever or no to whatever. So you begin to see that even though maybe in the other world nothing has drastic changed, but you operate from a very peaceful, centered space. And you can, you can feel, you can see that the quality of the moment you live in is different. And as you go forward and you dive in deeper and you're getting more tuned in, of course, it's natural for you to question things, to question your relationship, to question your environment, to question your, the authorities, to question the news, to question a book that you read and to question your teachers. 